Hello, my name is Jayva Chandler and I am the SGA president at Austin East High School. And my name is Aaliyah Riddle and I'm Miss Austin East at Austin East High School. Earlier this week, we received our graduation guidelines for the class of 2020. And here's what a few of our classmates had to say about it. Hello, my name is Ashley White and I attend West High School. Hi, I'm Lindsay Sturkey and I go to South Dole High School. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Malone and I went to South Dole High School. Dear Mr. Norman. To Miss Satterfield. Dear Miss Patty Brown. Dear Jennifer Owens. I am the first generation to be able to graduate high school. My parents didn't get to finish school. So, uh, since I was three, my parents had divorced, uh, my biological parents. It's been harder for me to be able to see my father uh, because we live in two different states. So um, having him and my mother at graduation would be um, amazing if I could just celebrate this great time. Oh, I need my graduation because throughout my life, my mother was very absent. Graduation would have been the first event that she ever attended for me, and I was looking forward to it. I deserve to let her see me. Because I lost my dad a few years ago, and so I've worked really hard to stay Keep a positive mindset. I feel like I deserve a proper graduation because being an independent type 1 diabetic in high school was a challenge. And walking the stage is my way of saying I made it. My father was incarcerated for about 10, 11 years, so most of my life. Um, this is the first big thing that he would ever get to see me do. He was really looking forward to it. My mother, she has done everything for me. Um, she's who I've done this for, this 12 years of hard work to get here, and I just want her to be able to see me while across the stage, and I just want to make her so very proud. So also, I lost my dad before he could hear about any of my school accomplishments, so walking across that stage would have meant the world to him. They're Magnet Academy, and if I can't have my family there to see me graduate, I at least want to be able to see my friends cross the stage because we didn't get to have any of the normal high school experiences most high schoolers get. Graduate. My father was incarcerated for 15 years, and for him to actually be home right now is something big for me because he will actually be able to have the ability to watch his daughter graduate. It breaks my heart knowing that my family, my friends, the biggest supporters of my academic career won't be able to see me graduate high school. There has to be a way. It hurts, and I just can't see myself walking that stage at my school and turning around and not being able to see at least my granny in the stands um, clapping and cheering for me. I just can't see myself doing it if she can't be there. I need a proper graduation because I am salutatorian. This is one of my first major accomplishments and a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it does not feel right not having my family and friends there to cheer me along. It also means so much to me and my family because just last week I was in the hospital suffering from a chronic health condition. Thank but it would really be great if I could have my parents at graduation. They've been my number one supporters in my education. And, and everything that I put my mind to, my dreams these past couple years, and for them to not be able to see me walk across the stage and close this chapter of my life is, it's kind of hard, it's hard to imagine. Some people, parents might not have their diplomas, and them getting a diploma is something just major to them and their parents, so I think the ceremony is just as important as the diploma. Thank Initially, I was supposed to graduate with class of 2021, but I took the needed steps to be able to graduate with class of 2020. Not only is it very important to me, it's very important to the others that they're able to be there and see me walk the stage. 12 years, and I'm sure it was not easy at all for everybody else because it sure wasn't easy for me. It was. I want my family to see me walk across the actual stage. I don't want them to see me on a TV screen. I want them to scream my name out. I want them to congratulate me on my biggest accomplishment. Dear Miss Bapp, I would love for my mom to be able to attend my graduation because when I was younger, I lost my little brother. Therefore, I'll be her only child that she gets to see walk across the stage. Central High School. My family deserves to watch me walk because they have put in a great amount of work into making sure that I graduate and so have I. I'm pretty sure any Latino or Latina is in the same position that I am. I don't want that happiness being taken away from our parents. I think we've all worked really hard for this moment and we really do deserve this chance to have a traditional graduation ceremony. Dear Dr. Buchanan, we understand the severity of COVID-19. We understand safety is our top priority, but we deserve more. Our families deserve to see us walk. Our mentors deserve to see us walk. Our community members deserve to see us walk. Our future bosses deserve to see us walk. We deserve to see each other walk. 
I hope by now we've got your attention. I hope by now you understand. We deserve a proper graduation.